Happy New Year, everyone. We made it through 2020. So, to kick off the last day of the year, it's gonna be uh, mimosas today, because that's what I like to drink on New Year's. So I'm gonna do mimosas with a few different San Pellegrinos. So I know basically, you know, carbonated bubbles with bubbles, so it's the double bubble uh, mimosa challenge. Gonna try a few different ones out. The lady at the liquor store was pointed out a pro tip, I guess, that she said to get like the little mini bottles when making Prosecco so you don't have to, you know, open a whole bottle just for some Prosecco. But I mean, seriously, who opens um, a bottle of sparkling or champagne or whatnot and doesn't drink the whole thing? So anyways, I'll give it a shot. So let's uh, try a few different options here. We've got just the basic sparkling orange, like the good old, uh, you know, the go-to. So, uh, you know, just a little bit. And a... That's the, the orange. Then we have the uh, sparkling pomegranate. Let's see which one wins. And then finally, we have the uh, sparkling blood orange. All right, starting off with the original, well not really original, I'm supposed to be orange juice, but you know, going fancy. Good. Extra double bubble there. Um, yeah, there's a reason people usually pair it with orange juice. I like it. It'll be good, good now for the uh, pomegranate. Well, sweeter for sure. Oh, that's good. Palm sparkling pomegranate. Oh yeah. A little extra kick there with the sparkle. Yeah. It's pretty tasty. It'd be good for some breakfast for sure. Now for the blood orange. It smells. A little citrusy and sweet again. That's good. That's good as well. Um, sort of a little more bitter. Yeah, no, that's still good. Hmm. I'd say the, the winner here, just by a margin though, is probably this uh, pomegranate. I really like sparkling. Good. Hmm. All right. The winner. Sparkling pomegranate San Pellegrino. And whatever sparkling wine you got. Mimosa, double bubble. Well, I mean, just in case, I guess. Just in case. Just in case the trick is all three together. Just in case, you never know, right? Gotta experiment. Mega double bubble. It's an explosion of citrusy flavor right there. It's not bad, but I can't pinpoint an actual taste or flavor to it. It's just a whole bunch of stuff like 
fruit punch and mimosas. Hmm. All right. All the best to you and uh, enjoy your night and happy new year. Cheers.